This video is the first in a new series where we will look at the installation of a fire alarm system from start to finish in this five-story senior living facility. The building will have residential units on floors two through five. The units will all be the same. They'll have a kitchen, bathroom, living room, and bedroom. The living room and bedroom will both have smoke detectors programmed as supervisories with sounder bases. If either smoke detector goes into alarm, both sounder bases will activate. The living room will also have a speaker in it which will be tied to the same circuit as the other speakers on that floor. Each floor in this building will have its own Class A SLC loop. There will be an isolation module before the first device on the floor and another one after the last device on the floor before the Class A loop makes its return to the panel. This is a look at the two riser closets on the third floor, both the feed and the return, with the isolation modules located next to the Hoffman boxes. There will be speaker strobes on each floor which will activate on the floor of the alarm and the floors above and below the alarm. The rest of the floors will remain inactive. The building will be equipped with a wet sprinkler system which will have a fire pump installed in the basement providing pressure to all floors. The fire alarm panel will monitor the fire pump conditions as well as all sprinkler shutoff valves. This includes both OS and Y style valves and butterfly valves. The loading dock in the basement will have a dry sprinkler system covering it because of the possibility of the overhead door allowing cold air in which could freeze the sprinkler pipes. On the dry system, we'll monitor the low air pressure switch and the water flow switch. The water flow switch on both the wet and dry systems will be tied into the sprinkler bells. They will also activate the fire alarm panel. The devices in the sprinkler room will be monitored by a 10 point card, in this case, the model XP10M. An additional dual monitor module and single point monitor module will monitor the remaining points in the room. There will be a sprinkler riser in the stairwell which will branch off on each floor. At that point there will be a shutoff valve and a water flow switch which will be monitored by a dual monitor module. That will be the same on each floor. The penthouse will have duct detectors monitoring the rooftop units and relays tied into those units to shut them down upon activation of the duct detector. I'll also show how to wire remote test stations into the duct detectors. The kitchen on the first floor will have an Ansel hood suppression system which we will monitor with a single point monitor module. The basement elevator machine rooms will house the relays used to perform elevator recall which brings the elevator cars down to the safe floor upon activation of a smoke detector in an elevator lobby on any other floor. The system will also include elevator shunt trip which kills power to the elevators upon activation of a heat detector so that no electricity is present when a sprinkler head pops. The panel in this building will be a notifier NFS2 3030 panel with a DVC providing voice capabilities. Initially, I'm going to use analog amplifiers feeding control modules for each floor, but eventually I'd like to show an alternative setup of digital amplifiers because it's far more common in new construction. There will be seven SLC loop cards, which will allow each of the five main floors, the penthouse, and the basement to all have their own SLC loop. The riser closets up the floors will be where the strobe power supplies are located. There will be an FCPS power supply for the strobes triggered by a control module, but these will be located on every other floor because we'll have enough power to power two floors of strobes from one power supply. The riser closet on every floor will have an FCPS that will power the sounder bases in the rooms. This will be wired to always be on, which will provide constant 24 volts needed for the sounder bases. Each floor will have fire doors and smoke dampers which will release on any building fire alarm. Those devices will be powered by their own separate 120 volt circuits and will be controlled by an MR201 and an addressable relay located in the riser closet of each floor. 
Each video in this series will take an in-depth look at how each of the features I've mentioned here will be wired into the system. Find the link to the topic you're most interested in within the playlist for this series, and please remember to give me feedback on what I can explain better.